Hello everyone and welcome to another Versus video. I'm Brad, that's Todd, and today we're pretty much just going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, yeah, we, this is a, a battle of egos, and yeah. even though Brad's ego is way bigger than mine. That's just uh, not true. <laughs> hopefully my smaller e my much smaller ego will be You know today. this is not true. But uh, anyway, we drove together for the Invitational a couple weeks back, and <clears throat> one of the main tension points was Todd wanted me to play Sneak and Show, and I wanted and I wanted to play uh, Esper Deathblade, and Todd just like told me that I was awful, and I was like giving him a lot of logical reasons why I would play it, and uh, and then I ended up doing really well. Well, Todd, you know, did not play well, in day two. I'm sorry. I I mean my that was based on the back of my standard record. It is I, true. I, I made a big misplay and lost in my second round of Legacy or whatever, and died, and and that was completely my fault, and I did not play well. But anyway. Uh, I have top aided uh, two of the last three Legacy Opens I played with Sneak and Show, and every time I lose a game of with this deck, I feel like I made a, a significant error. Either like I built my deck a little wrong, or I made a misplay, or whatever. And I've never felt like that before in a Magic tournament, where like I can literally pinpoint at every point where I pondered incorrectly, I brainstormed incorrectly, I like tap the wrong land to do something, mm -hmm. I even fetch the wrong wrong land and, and get blown out by Wasteland or whatever, and. I just I think Sneak and Show is just the best deck in the format, and yes, it has like some trouble when the format adapts to it and plays a lot of hate cards. But I just don't think that that is a thing people are doing right now. Uh, perhaps in the next three weeks or four weeks, people will have like more Ashen Riders, Oblivion Rings, Pith and Needles. I'm playing three Sowers on my sideboard. Yeah, that's not true. It's if not it true. is, then I'm I quit. Yeah, it's not true. Yeah, I just quit. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing. That. I was thinking of playing one for the Invitational though, yep. um, but I never did. But uh, yeah, we're gonna. Pretty much spent today, you know, seeing whose deck is actually better, and and it's not the most educational thing, but it is because I'm actually going to start pushing on Esper Deathblade. I loved it for that tournament. I uh, I played very well, but I also thought that the deck carried me when I needed it to. And a lot of people have um, not liked it in the past, but I think it's really well positioned right now. And so uh, I'm going to be doing some other content on the deck. So I wanted to play a match. Uh, after the Invitational, where I know the deck a little bit more, and it's my deck list. The last time I played Esper Deathblade a couple weeks back for Versus Video, it was not my deck list. I wasn't that comfortable with it, but uh, that has all changed over the last couple weeks. Yep. Now I feel like a Bra master. Brad, Brad uh, he grew his wings and he learned to fly. I, I did grow my wings and learn to fly in Legacy, and now I'm proud and I want to show it off. Okay. But we can't do it with a different deck because I don't gonna, know how to play and it. And I'm going to knock him into the dirt. All right, let's do it. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to battling. Yeah. All right, so I won the die roll, and I get to play first, and I have this card in my hand. <laughs> it's just all looking out for me. <laughs> but uh, well, I don't know what that means, but yeah, Brad's gonna die. Uh, and with with hands like this, um, uh, I'm going to pretend that I do not know the matchup, uh, and so I would always just uh, uh, lead here. So uh, yeah, I'm keeping. You're keeping. All right, uh, I'm gonna get a C and pass the turn. All right. Well, that was a good draw. Uh, I'm going to pay two life and probe Brad to see what's going on so I know how to play around his force of will and thoughts ease. If that's even possible. And Krakus. Wow, yeah, he just has <laughs> the stones. I do so. have a GT though. Yeah, it, it's almost like he drew all his best cards. I did. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with the Ponder. All right. All right, look at top three, and we did find one in our top three that we do want. In fact, I think we want most of these. So we're going to stagger it like this, draw, and then pass the turn to you. All right. All right, so we'll draw. Interesting card. Uh, makes me want to cast this right now. I mean, we could just put the GT in play and try to start clocking him, but I don't think that is going to work. Uh, we could thought seize him, but that's still an option for the turn after we get more information. And we're going to want, uh, since we know the matchup now, we're going to want a lot of unique things. So uh, I'm going to start with a brainstorm. All right. That's going back. Uh, I don't want to put anything else back. I guess we don't have to fetch this turn. I guess not fetching is an option. Or just putting this back and hoping he hoping we just have it all. <laughs> um, wow, this is so tough. I feel bad for you, Brad. I know you have to make a tough decision right now. So This is really tough. Uh, so we have a bunch of different game plans. We want to keep up a force of will. 
but at the same time, we want to double thought seize him. Um, but the top card of his library is, since he knows we have a thought seize, is better than any uh, the card he at least drew. Uh, potentially could help him still combo even if we thought season this turn. So we might want to thought season again next turn. So that might mean that we don't want to uh, even use the other one, or maybe we don't even want the other one, and we'll just take one card and try to jam this next turn. I think that's probably what we're going to do. So we're going to put that back, and before we do any shuffle effects, I'm going to remove my marsh flats and play a land. Yeah, that's something good. Play a land and thought season you. All oh, right, that's a lot of brainstorms. Yep. That's a good hand, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Gristle, Emrakul, Show, 2x Storm, Lotus, and Delta. So, uh,. The two brainstorms are the cards that scare me the most, actually, in this this game. But the Grusel Brand does too. Since we do have the Krakus, it's going to be very difficult for Todd to actually uh, um, win the game via show and tell, unless he has Grusel Brand, uh, where he can just draw seven and then try to like uber combo me the next the following turn. But I also do just want to jam this next turn. Uh, so I think we're supposed to just take a a brainstorm. I think that's the most powerful card in his hand. I'm just going to call clock. <laughs> Brainstorm. All right, there we go. Go. All right, draw. Lotus Puddle. Sure. Go. I guess it could have been Lotus No, the Lotus Puddle's not the most powerful card in your hand. All right, uh, since we do not want the other thought seeds, we're going to get rid of that. And... Don't need double white source, so I guess we'll just go get another underground C. Drop. Hmm. So we can make that our turn, or we can just try to jam. I don't know if I like jamming in case he just finds sneak attack and just kills us with force backup. Uh, that was actually not that good of a draw step. Wow, about time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this should have been a white source, I think. Um, I just didn't. I guess it should have just gotten blue white. It was not going to matter at all. <coughs> <laughs> I guess if he just like destroys us on the backswing, there's nothing we could do. Uh, Jace. Oh, brainstorm our response. Sure. Here I'm digging for a spell pierce or something. Uh, we didn't find it. I think Jace is just going to resolve, but I gotta figure out what to put back. All right. Um, that was a very good brainstorm, though. So I guess I have to put these back. I believe. Yep. Results. Yep. All right. Brainstorm. Yep. And go. Draw. Uh, Fetch. 17. Then I go to fetch twice. 16. I'll cast a uh, show and tell. Is it 16 all right? Uh, yeah, 16 all. Okay. All right. You have three cards, four cards in hand? I have four. All right, I'll force a wolf. Pitching a true name. You have two cards? Yeah. Uh, force, pitch, brainstorm. Going to 15. Oh, force. Going to 14. 
14 to 15? 14 to 15, yep. Alright, that's fine. Uh, you go. Alright, so we're going to draw. His hand is probably sneak attack and a dude. So, I think brainstorming here is the best choice instead of doing that. It's not, not bad, but we can beat it for the, at least the next turn. So we're going to want to put these two back and do this with our with our time, keeping up Krakus. Uh, two mana land would be the most devastating. I guess with that, I guess just holding this up is the safest. Seems almost impossible for him to get out of this if we just like protect ourselves. All right, go. Uh, pay two. I just can't believe you drew this. <laughs> <laughs> drew another blue card, another force of will, and then another force of will, and the crocus. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's go for a YOLO, make you counter it. Yeah, counter it, removing your land. Sure, go. All right, draw for the turn, brainstorm. Uh, put these two back. Play a Stoneforge Mystic with, oh, you don't have a land in? I have one more land. You have one more? Okay. Yep. Using that, um, searching for the Batter Skull. And then wasting that. And your turn. Basically just dead now, but I'll say go. Okay. Draw, brainstorm. Put these two back. Uh, Thoughts is you. I'll take the Emrakul. You shuffle. Uh, trigger on the stack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a white. Okay. And then attack you for. Yep. That puts you at twelve. Yep. And then your turn. Go. Brainstorm. Yep. Uh, these two back. Waste. There you go. Okay. Uh, Alright, so uh, I'm here on the play for game two. Uh, this hand is pretty reasonable. We're going to get to take a look at his hand. Uh, maybe not casting on turn one, maybe just turn two to get a little more information. But there is the potential that I draw two mana land, I'm able to uh, cast turn one show and tell. Uh, so I think I'll probably just probe on one with that uh, po possibility. So, well, we have the worst card in our deck. What, GTA or no <laughs> Tropical Island? <laughs> but I still think this is the keep. All right, uh, all right. I'll just start with the probe before I make any major decisions. Trump, Delta, uh, two Thoughtseize, Death Rate, Swords, and Snap. Yeah, it's the worst card in our deck, but it actually works with this hand. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't draw what we needed, but uh, we're actually fine with this. Uh, play this and say go. All right. So what Todd is going to do, that was gross. Uh, Todd is probably going to brainstorm here, but uh, that should leave us hopefully with the ability to, no matter what, he can't resolve his combo next turn, unless he has a force of will. Um, but we're going to have to thought these. We have no other option. I need to think. So, the pr so I can brainstorm here and put back my show and tell. And but if I miss on land, that would be pretty bad. Uh, and also, I'm probably gonna have to get stuck with an Emrakul and a Gristlebrand in hand. And then you can just take the Emrakul and shuffle away the show and tell that I'm trying to protect. So what I can do is let him resolve this. He can take show and tell, and then I can end of turn brainstorm. And if I draw a two mana land or a lotus petal, I'll get to resolve sneak attack with two fatties in hand, and then get to be able to use it next turn. So I think I just let it resolve. And if he takes the brainstorm, then I can just draw any land and cast a show and tell and put in a gristle brand. So against my better judgment, all right, resolves. 
Wow. No, you're right. I mean, I, th I think I just have to take that card. Yep. Uh, or I just die. Yep. Or and your turn. it's dangerous here to uh, to brainstorm end of turn, but if I hit, like I said, if I hit a pedal or two mana lane, I get to resolve my sneak attack before he gets to thought seize me again, which is really important. And he would have to have drawn a force will for his turn to this for this to be like this is it's not even wrong. It's just he has yeah. the force. So I'm gonna get my hand thought seize and then snap snap thought seize over the next two turns. So brainstorm. Mm -hmm. All right, and we drew everything. So, <laughs> so that's good. All right, draw, lotus petal, sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, you got a fifteen. Yep. No. Activate. Oh, no. Seven. Draw seven. <laughs> all right, you uh, got it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like was, I said, I yeah, drew, I drew everything. everything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for my side of the sideboarding, uh, swords are bad. The GT and the stone forges are just not that great. I still like keeping in uh, a batter skull and two stone forge because there's those random games where like the through the breach or the sneak attack can get me down to just my batter skull but I can still win the game with it mm. uh, and I keep in one true name just because I don't have enough slots uh, for the matchup uh, and it just gets pitched to uh, force will but we're boarding in meddling mages that is just a, a great answer proactive answer to a lot of the threats that Todd, Todd has like show and tell and sneak attack pithy needle for sneak attack and gristlebrand um, so then I can like lily on it or jace it or crack it uh, the next turn uh, bringing in all four spell appears, it's been uh, phenomenal. This card has just been overperforming for me. Uh, second Dilly Click, and then the fourth force. I just want to point out that Brad drew all three of his force wills in game one. I, I did. I didn't even realize that he was only playing three, so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say anything about it. But now, uh, on my side, I am cutting a lot of my protection with the the four spell pierce and. Basically, Spell Pierce is really good when your opponent has uh, a combo of their own that you're trying to use as basically a protection spell for your combo as well as a disruption mm -hmm. piece for theirs. But uh, in this matchup, he's going to have so much stuff uh, that Spell Pierce is not going to be able to help me, as well as like some amount of man denial with the Wastelands. And so I don't really think that having access to Spell Pierce is nearly as important in this matchup. Uh, spell Pierce is obviously very good if it's going to counter a Jace or a Liliana, but a lot of times I can fight through those Planeswalkers with Sneak Attack. Uh, the problem will be if he lands a Planeswalker and a Pith and Needle for Sneak Attack, and then it's going to be much, much harder for me to win. Jace is pretty bad since uh, he's going to have access to a lot of cheap creatures after uh, game one and, and as with the Meddling Mage. Uh, so Jace is much worse. Jace is mostly for the Miracles matchup, but also doubles as just being a blue card to pitch um, you know, to Force of Will, and uh, I, I don't think it has enough value after board in this matchup. Uh, cutting a couple of Gitaxian probes because honestly I don't know what else to trim <laughs> and I want to try out all these cards. Uh, once we get to uh, game four I may change my sideboarding slightly. Um, but basically since I'm cutting so many blue cards I'm trimming a force of will because it's likely I won't have a blue card to pitch to it mm -hmm. and it'll just be a dead card in my hand. Uh, but what I'm bringing in is going to be pretty strong in this matchup. If he's able to uh, get, like I said, uh, uh, a sneak attack, or sorry, if he has a, a needle on sneak attack and a crocus in play, uh, through the breach is going to be a dead card, but he has to draw both of those and he only has two needles and one crocus. Uh, Blood Moon can also shut down Karakas, which is huge, but also it just shuts him out from being able to cast more spells. And this is a must counter effect from him uh, for the most part. Uh, a couple of Pyroclasms, because most of these decks bring in uh, Meddling Mage, and if they don't bring in Meddling Mage, it can still kill Death Rite uh, and uh, Stoneforge Mystic on turn two if they lead with that opener, and buys me a lot of time. And then I almost always want to bring in one Shattering Spree against any control deck in case they have Pithy Needle. Uh, once I see like a Pithy Needle or multiple Pithy Needles, I can either board in this, or if I don't see any, I can have the option to cite it out, but being able to draw into this uh, as a one of is important. And then a singleton Beseju, which can help make our through the breach uncounterable or our uh, show and tells uh, uncounterable when I'm able to put in a sneak attack or a gristle brand or something against uh, a counter heavy draw from Brad. So my hand's a little loose, uh, but I do want to keep it. Um, we do have time to draw into certain things, and uh, a land off the top could really help this, this, this hand out. But uh, I think this is very close, but I'm going to keep. Uh, even though I have some dig spells, I don't have access to colored mana, and uh, while we're on the draw and we do have a force of will, I think that it's worth pitching this back. And I know Brad has a bunch of thought seizes in his deck, and so like mulliganing always hurts, but not being able to cast a spell hurts way more. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I've had a very similar hand like this on Moto, and I did I executed a plan that worked, and I think this is correct with this hand. And the reason I kept this hand. I wanted to execute the strategy, but after t I didn't want to give Todd any for information. But we're going to go Wasteland Pithy Needle. Results. Scalding turns. Go. Interesting. 
because <coughs> I don't play Scalding Tarn. Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't have a mountain. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Do you really not play Scalding Tarn? Yeah, I don't. I wasn't paying I any attention. I have two Blue Fetchlands in my deck. Yeah, no one ever pays attention. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> no, a lot of people play uh, Tarn because they well, play... Well, I feel like an idiot because I wasn't paying attention to your Fetchlands. It's okay. I, I mean, I you could play like four Tarn and then one of each of the other ones or whatever, yeah. which is what some people do. Um, on my side, um, I don't really know what to do yet. I think, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna be patient with all my stuff at Sega. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Go. I mean, sometimes it works, you know? All right, uh, brainstorm. Mm, spell pierce. All right, here we go. 19. It's possible I should have probed you first and just waited on Brainstorm, but I don't like burning my probe until I'm about to go for my combo usually. Yeah. Or I need to know like how much time I have basically. So. Uh, our hand is not developing the way that I wanted it to. So we might be in a lot of trouble, actually. And we wasted this. <laughs> I feel really stupid. But it worked on Moto. It's fine. I wish I had not told him that I was not playing Skull and Tarn, because he might have done it next game, too. <laughs> but well, I that's really it. bad for this. Um, I For whatever it's worth, I don't think that that is that bad of a play, because, like... This deck relies heavily on its fetch lands to yep. be able to make its brainstorms actually reasonable. And if you have wasteland as your first land, then like turning off a scalding tarn, like my hand is like volcanic scalding tarn, I'm yeah. dead. Yep. Like I just I can't win the game. So. Yeah. Uh, I guess we just have to. I guess we have to say go. All right, untap, draw a step. I'll pay two life for probe. Jay slowly on a snapcaster delta. All right, uh, draw a card. And I'm at 18. Mm -hmm. I will pass turn. I do not know how I win with saying go every turn, but I do not know how I win if I cast Jace. <laughs> <laughs> you cast Jace and win by drawing into a Force of Will and another blue card. Or I guess you already have the same. Yeah. Answer, but. Uh, I don't know if I need another turn to try to also have a thought seize for this. Sure. Because you're passing, so I don't think... Uh, well, I mean, I'm passing because I'm trying to play around spell pierce. Like, yeah, I know that. I'm not just going to jam my spells unless you start resolving <coughs> all your stuff. Uh, yeah, I think I just have to pass. All right, draw. Hmm. Ponder. Yep. Interesting. All right, we're just going to shuffle these away, I think. Top had a shattering spree in it, but since that pithy needle is not named <laughs> sneak attack. <laughs> anything that matters. Anything of relevance. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, if that had mattered, then I would have. that would have been a really good ponder. But well, you wouldn't have been able to cast it, <laughs> if that mattered. Why not? I could fetch for a red. I mean, I mean, like, if you name sneak attack on turn one with it or whatever. Oh, like, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have been able to at least find the answer. So, all right, draw. Uh, go. All right. It's a little bit stronger of a play. But uh, okay. Eighteen. Is it thoughtsies? Snap thoughtsies? No. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> would, that a, would that be good right now? It would be fine. Is it Force of Will? Should just be a blue-white. Force of Will would also be very good. Stoneforge. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. I just do not like anything that's going on right now. <laughs> Blood Moon, <laughs> go. Yeah. <laughs> not even playing Blood Moon, Brad. 
I mean, I'm, I do know I, that I'm one. Just, I'm <laughs> I do know that one. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, fetch, 17. And now we dead? No, not even close. Unfortunately. Uh, City of Traders, cast sneak attack. Well, I... Cards in hand? Four. All right. Uh, spell Pierce. I'll pick. Yep. I'll go to 16 for my fetch. Blue, black, and... Blue, black. And here we go. And I had to spell Pierce that in case he did have a combo piece. Then I was just dead. What are our odds of winning this game? All right, well, that gives us the ability to tap these for Jace. A uh, double wasteland? That's gross. Yeah, I mean, if I if I draw it. Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, But I, I, drew, I drew a fetch land, which allows me to yeah, do draw we, into Doxies or draw into yeah, I, wasteland. Yeah, I, I was actually going to suggest that if you didn't draw land that you just Jace and leave up a wasteland. Yep. But All the right. fact that you drew the fetch is good. Yeah, it resolves. <sighs> That's bad. <laughs> well, I don't have it yet. I'll I tell you that. All right, so if I had it already. You'd be that. We have to be aggressive here. We're going to play. You have to put two cards back. Oh, yeah. uh, we're putting these two back, and we're going to get aggressive. Okay. All right. Wasteland the city traders, or <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to wasteland too. I don't know. Let me see what these are again. Yeah, I don't want either of these. Um, maybe I'm supposed to kill one so he can't go power claws and blood moon. <laughs> I can't. Oh, sure. Yeah. I forgot. All right. All right. Uh, 12. 13. Uh, 12. 12. Yeah, I, I've fetched a uh, second time. Uh, go. Come on, fatty bomb baddie. Ooh. I was waiting for the ooh. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, it's a new pyroclasm. Lotus Puddle Blood Moon? No. So, pyroclasm. Resolves. Fetch Blood Moon. You just drew Blood Moon? I have one floating. I drew, no, I drew, uh, yeah, I did draw Blood Moon. Okay. So, uh, all right, I mean, you can spell pierce me, that's fine. Well, I'm not spell piercing you. Yeah. Are you casting Brainstorm or something? Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go to uh, 11 from the fetch. Let's see if that Jace can plus two to victory. <laughs> or you draw, I guess, force something off of your, your Brainstorm. But yeah, I drew the Blood Moon, and I had the Pyroclasm, and you're like, I guess I'll waste and keep you yeah. off of Pyroclasm Blood Moon. I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brainstorm. Resolves. Laysai. <laughs> All right. Resolves. Here you go. <laughs> if I didn't wasteland you, and I just had, uh, I guess keeping the wasteland was bad, I did draw a spell first. All right, so Brainstorm. I don't know if that was one of the cards you could have drawn, but okay. I don't know why you're brainstorming. I guess you can cast Batter Skull. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I, I maybe should have just actually. I mean, I, I think plus twoing is bad, but I don't know. All right. I think I did. I draw too many cards there. I don't think. No, I had two in my hand. Yep. Your turn. Um. I also have another one of these too. Oh sure. I'll cast my machine attack. Yep. Here you go. Draw up, brainstorm. Yep. Better skull. <laughs> it's a good one. I'm at 11, so I got a few turns. Oh, I didn't get a BBD. It's all right. We got new got cards. I thought we had a BBD somewhere. Uh, okay. Here we go. Draw up, brainstorm. Maybe at this point I should start ticking up. Do you have a force? No. No, but I guess I shouldn't. Attack for four. Uh, seven. There's some BBD over there. 21. 22. 22. Or maybe you're 21 from a fetch I missed. Yeah, I am. I'm at 21. Okay. Go. Draw. <gasps> oh, I don't like those buy eyes. Me, no, this will buy me some time. I'll, uh... Shattering Spree for three, targeting Batter Skull and Pizzy Needle. Uh, Batter Skull twice. I'll, re I'll return it. Sure. Time walk. All right, my turn. Yeah. Draw. Yeah, I think I still should brainstorm. Brainstorm. Uh, put two of these black cards back. Play <laughs> land. 
Better skull, trigger BBD, your yeah. turn. Come on, something. Alright, 7, uh, to, 20, seven yeah. to 20, yeah. 21. 20, okay. 21. I will activate sneak attack. Uh, nothing. Aww. I think I actually should... <coughs> Let's see, if I attack you and draw 7, I can attack his Jason draw 7, and then he... Well, I guess he only sees two extra cards. Alright, I'll attack you for 7. 14. I'll go to 14 as well. I'll go back down to 7 and draw 7 cards. Sure. 3, 4... Five, six, seven. All right, I haven't played a land yet. I will. Island, Lotus Petal, seven cards. Uh, trigger this. Yep. Here you go. Drop. I think I am at a spot where I needed him to brick. I don't think there's anything left in my deck. Oh, I guess I still just need to hit the Pithy Needle. Mm -hmm. Uh. So I will brainstorm. Okay. Brick. Attack. Activate sneak attack. Sure. Block. I'll return. Okay. Second main. Cast. Yep. Trigger. I will. No, I'm gonna force pitch ponder. I'll force. Okay. Here at six, I'm at thirteen. Go. Probably should have just hard cast that and kept the. That was stupid. Okay. Should have kept the ponder, but I have another gristle brand, so that's good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. Alright, well, could very easily lose, but I'll attack really? you down to six. Well, yeah, if I just don't draw. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm at six, so I, okay, I'll go back down to six, draw seven. Yep. Five, six, seven. I don't oh. see you easily losing this game. Hmm? I do not see you losing this game. Well, I should have hard cast the the Force of Will, yeah, and sure. then I could have I could still have Ponder. I will keep it Bad on. News. One second. Yeah. Play these. Play this. Sack this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I also have to discard a three of the bridge. Mmm, brainstorm. Attack. Two to ten. Go. Flash in and we're cool. You got it. <laughs> Where was my pithy needle? Uh, it was the next card. I had a force. Did you have another force? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> another really close, but probably bad hand, but I am going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because it's sweet. <laughs> Go. All right. Uh, I'm just going to hope you don't have a wasteland. I'm going to play this and say go. I guess the thought seed would also be pretty good. Uh, waste. Alright, fine. And remove it. Metal image. Name. Show and tell. Okay, go. Well, this is a tough one. Resolves. Interesting. Cards left in hand? Five. Five. I mean, we could fight here, and if he has a force of will, he's gonna, you know, get it anyway. But I think this could be better in two turns anyway. So I don't. So yeah. Nineteen. You're at twenty still. Yeah. Here you go. Awkward enough. Go. Rats. <laughs> Should have waited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have sandbagged this one, but I would have probably played another one since I just drew another one. Uh, take two. Show and tell. Yep. You have no cards? Nope. Alright, I'm at 17. 17 to Here we go. Ugh. Uh, from Force, yeah, sorry. 17, 19. Uh, remove your land. Play Stoneforge. 
Okay. And your turn. Needed a disruption there. Take two. Well, you can still draw one. So yeah. Here we go. 15 to 19. And I'll put you at 13, and I'll eat. Okay. Well, we need something big this turn. That was not big. Well, I don't have it yet, so you're... We do you're have the permanent we need. The and permanent? The permanent. So this is going to activate the stone forge. This is going to eat. Or this is going to act... This is going to eat. This is going to activate stone forge, so this can attack. All right. 12 to 19. Go. Oh, what a difference playing ancient... Or playing city of traitors would have been. Four life is going to be the death of me now. So I'm going to take two down to ten. Take four, five down to that. So I have one turn to draw. But you only have one thing in the yard to eat. So I have this here too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, play this. Play this. So you go. Okay. Uh, end of turn. Crack. Yep. 17. Have you at 18? 18 to 12. You force I forced fetch. and. Fetch one. Oh, that's fetch. Yep. I looked in my graveyard saw wasteland just assumed it was that. All right, so eat force, score. put in batter score. Eat my force. Yeah. I'm at ten. ten. And eat a land. Or I never, I didn't even eat, eat a land. All right, draw. I don't really know what this is going to do. Uh... If he had Gristlebrand, I, I mean, I'm very confident he would have... Hit you in round time? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So <laughs> I, I think I could attack with this pretty yeah. safely, and there's nothing in the graveyard, so we just attack with everything. Um, attack. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, down to three. You're at 22. Go. Upkeep. Upkeep waste you. Uh, yeah, I should just take a Volk. I mean, there's no... Agreed. Blood Moon, it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, that game just drew mono thingies and no fatties, which yeah. sucks. But. Oh, so okay, so I'm on the play here for game five. Uh, my hand is a little dig heavy, uh, but I think that's fine since he's probably just going to thought seize us or do something early to disrupt us. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would keep this, I think, in this matchup for sure. I, I mean, I have to keep mine for obvious reasons. All right. Uh, Misty into Ponder. I'm going to get a Volcanic Island if he. We're pretty mana heavy, so if he wants to waste us, that's fine. I'm not gonna. I know I've given it away though. So yeah, which is awkward. But some. I mean, ponder is ponder. Like it's hard to I mean, wasteland after they cast a ponder. Mm -hmm. Like it's easy to wasteland after they cast something like Delver. Well, what am I keeping? Like I'm keeping a wasteland heavy land draw. Like I don't know. Just saying. I can't I can't say stuff? No, I know. But like, you would want me to wasteland you here, usually. If you're fetching, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why yeah. I, I do want you to waste me. But yeah. saying it is like counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. so. My turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, underground sea. Yep. And I'm going to name Scalding Tarn. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sneak and sneak attack. Sure. <laughs> name show and tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Go. laughs> All right. Uh, draw. Let's see. I do know I don't want to card this on top of my deck. So I think I'm going to... It's a little awkward. But I don't know the next two, and I could maybe want to keep one of them, and then I can play a different land if I want to shuffle, so I'll just ponder. Okay. All right, I don't want any of these, just three lands. So. Right, draw. Uh, interesting draw. Uh, go. Hmm. What you got? Man. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Crackus. Through the breach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if you go too bad on yeah, that spot, it would kill me. <laughs> yeah, that's, yep. That's awesome. Oh. All right. Metal of Mage name through the breach. All right. That's good. I, I really, I'm, I'm pleased. All right, I will. Start with this. Uh, uh, Shouting spree this. Well, that's not good. <coughs> well, I could replicate this right now just to kill it, which maybe I should do. There's an argument to be made there, but I'm Thank fine you. with him doing that, I think. Maybe I'm not actually. That's actually really bad. And I'm stupid. I'll take three. Ugh. Go. 16 to 18. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, we can't make a play now because he is. Uh, he went to 16. Because if he just threw the breaches, he kills us, and we need to hold the Krakus up to protect from through the breach. And show and tell. Yeah, this was a huge mistake. I didn't board in the second one, and now I can't sneak attack anymore, and now he has Needle Caracas. So, just so you know, I messed up this game, yep. and I'm going to lose because of it. I don't think I can actually kill you anymore if you never tap out for Caracas. Do you want me to play my Liliana this turn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can still easily win this game. Go. I mean, I can't sneak attack you, and you have a Caracas. It is very difficult you for me You can Blood win. Moon me. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that. Okay, sorry. Liliana. Uh, force paying four life. Well, we are at twelve. Go. Yep. <coughs> I forgot I had blood in my deck. Yeah, go. Uh, that should help. Oh. Seventeen. Stoneforge Mystic. Um, that will resolve. Getting better, Skull. Your turn. This is super awkward. Go. Draw. You have three cards? Yep. Go. Uh, that's a good start, I guess. Uh, go to 11, cast Blood Moon. I wish I had drawn that last turn, but I guess he could have just hard cast his batter skull, so it's not that much of a difference. You have three cards in him? I have three cards in hand. Four set. Okay. Dead? No, I have nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I had to tap out for it. Yeah. Uh, go. My hand is good. Wait, you're at 11? Yeah. No, that... Oh, yeah, that does up my clock, so I should... Crack, play Batter Skull, and attack you for one, and puts you at ten. Okay. And then put a counter on my guy. Oh, I just want to brainstorm, that's all I want. <laughs> um, go. Mm. Attack. I five. Uh, Needle. Yep. Flood of Strand. Now I need to draw a Pyroclasm and then a something else. That's not it. Yep, dead. Yay! I'm not gonna lie. All like five of those games were just not games of magic I've ever played in this matchup. Like they were That's very unique. So most of the games Brad plays in this matchup are game ones where. Uh, like he drew Triple Force of Will, Thoughtseize, Spell Pierce, Jace. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's matchup super easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> after sideboard, the games were just very unique, and we both kind of made a couple uh, small missteps. But uh, uh, I, I, I'm actually not s sold that like if I just played my main deck against you, I would have had like a better record. 
Like, I think I definitely miss boarded in some way. I, I know that, like, cards like Blood Moon and Pyroclasm can help get rid of certain things that are, like, problematic, but, like, sometimes I don't it know. Just if it just eludes the deck. It, yeah, so it does. Much. And, 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 like, you know, I'm cutting, uh, like, Jace's, which could have been very good against, like, your Metal Image draws. And also, they're just, like, must counters. But then at the same time, you also have, like, Quad Spell Pierce, and Jace is, like, hard to resolve. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I know that I did something wrong, but in Legacy, there's so many variables that it's really hard to actually see what you did yep. wrong and make it tangible. So. I mean, that's that's exactly what Deathblade's trying to accomplish is, like, attack on so many different fronts that whatever the opponent does, like, you have a chance of conti continuously fighting that. And that's why the Pierces plus the Thassises also give me the warning signs of what's up. Yeah. Like, so I know what my opponent's trying to accomplish after sideboard in this matchup. Mm -hmm. But um, I like both these decks, and I'm going to be uh, probably just picking up Deathblade for a while now. Um, it just has not given me more than two losses in a single tournament yeah, I mean, that I played with. Yeah, so. I mean, I agree. I, I played a lot of Deathblade back in the day. Like, Trinosis kind of changes the... the uh, dynamic of the deck. Yeah, di dynamic of the deck in a lot of different matchups. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, it's just important to sculpt your main deck and sideboard to be able to become something different if mm -hmm. in matches where you needed to. Like, for example, in this matchup, you became way less of a Stoneforge Mystic deck by cutting two of them and the Jitae, and instead we're playing, like, permanent hate cards like mm -hmm. Pithy Needle, Metal Image, which are just crazy different things for me to have to fight, and both of which are very good against me and highly disruptive. And, like, you saw in, in Game 5 when he has, like, Needle on Sneak Attack and Caracas, that's a soft lock. Like, mm -hmm. I have to have Blood Moon and then something else to get through. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's really tough. This matchup is a super grind fest. I, I've been on the winning end and the losing end in a number of matches. On sides, both yeah. sides. And all I know is that it is so frightening to play against a show and tell deck because if they have five cards in hand, you just always assume they have it. Like in game four when I resolved a sneak attack and I just didn't have a guy, though. And I just died four turns yeah. later without drawing <laughs> anything. So, I mean, stuff like that kind of happens. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked this video. And if you'd like to see us uh, continue playing some Legacy, and which matchups you're uh, really interested in. Yep. Let's just say one thing, I will not play Storm, because that will make me look like a dum-dum. <laughs> like, it would be bad if you guys wanted me to play Storm, but... Um, I mean, okay, so I just want to put a disclaimer that I do not think it's good to say, hey, what do you want us to play in Legacy? Because Legacy is all about having to know how to play those decks. Post. I'll just jam 12 posts. That's fine. I'll just jam <laughs> four Wasteland, four Crop Rotation for Vesuva and Copy Wasteland. <laughs> and we have a good matchup, don't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I would much rather play decks and show people how to play decks that we know how to yes, play. And but it is fun to experiment. Like, I think maybe we'll just let BBD handle that spectrum of sure. weird decks because he loves stuff like Storm and yeah. he likes to be creative. And uh, But yeah, we'll, we'll do that with him since we're since we're a big family now. That's so. true. All right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Join us later this week with some more. Wait, no. Join us up or down with some above the curve. Oh, yeah, if this is on Friday. This is on Woo. Friday this week. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and go watch us some more. Do it now. <laughs> oh, you already did it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Now read my article. Watch a replay. <laughs> <laughs>